Hi, I'm John Pollard on behalf of Autodesk, and we are here at AU, and uh, specifically we're here at the um, Education Lounge, and I'm standing next to Lindsay Morgan. Lindsay is a senior at Georgia Tech, and she is participating in the Student Expert Program. Lindsay, why don't you tell us a little bit about Autodesk Education in general, and then maybe you can give us a tour through the lounge. Okay. Autodesk Education has strategic partnerships with organizations that span not only secondary but post-secondary classrooms as well as extracurricular activities in engineering, architecture, and the digital arts. So today here at AU, I'm going to get a chance to show you guys around the Education Lounge where you can see where the industry and education has come together to really build up students of tomorrow for designing. That sounds great, and I think you're going to uh, talk to some of the students that are also working in the program as well, right? Exactly. We're going to meet some students as well as some high, top high people in the industry who have made some really great designs and really step, stepping forward for tomorrow. So today we're standing here in front of the winning design of the Shell Eco Marathon Urban Design Contest, and I'm standing here with Sean Coleman, who is the winner. Sean, congratulations. Thank you so much. L tell me, what motivated you to enter the contest? Well, it started out as an independent study. What I really uh, wanted to start doing is learning some new Autodesk software. I went to learn Inventor and Showcase. And my professor said, you know, while you're at it, why don't you enter this contest? So the contest came second to my primary goal. That's great. So tell me, you know, we're here at Autodesk University. What Autodesk products did you use for this great looking car? It's a good question. I started out uh, with Autodesk Inventor to model the parameters for the frame. And then I imported that into Autodesk Alias. And then with Alias, I was able to design the body directly over the full-size parameters that I had set. And then after the model was finished in Alias, I moved to the showcase to get some photorealistic renderings. Wow, Sean, that sounds like you did a lot of hard work. So tell me, what was the best part of your experience? Uh, well, finding out the news, it snowballed after that, but finding out the news in studio, sitting at the desk, they called me up and said, congratulations, you won. I said, really? I hadn't expected to win. I thought to place in the maybe top three or four, and they said, you won. just couldn't believe it. So then I was invited to Houston to drive the car. I drove the Mary of Houston, and then I was also invited to attend here and stand, be with the car again. Well, that's great, Sean. Thanks again. We're really proud of you, and you did a great job. Yeah, thank you. I'm standing here with Dave Lavery of NASA in front of the Mars Exploration Rover. So Dave, can you tell me a little bit about the Mars Exploration Rover and your involvement with it? Uh, basically, I'm what's called the program exec for the mission, which means I'm the person at NASA headquarters that has full-time responsibility for this mission. And what we've got behind us is a full-size, full-scale model of the Spirit and the Opportunity rovers that were launched in 2003, landed in January of 2004 on the surface of Mars. They were designed to do a 90-day mission, and we thought if we got extraordinarily lucky, they might last 150, 180 days. We're now almost seven years later, and they're still going. That's incredible. So, like Autodesk, NASA is collaborates with organizations that focus on STEM education. Can you tell me a little bit about that? One of NASA's fundamental parts of this charter is to be involved with disseminating knowledge. Basically, what we're supposed to do is go and explore the universe, expand human presence into space, and tell people what we learn. So education, outreach, public engagement is just a fundamental part of what we do. It's central to everything that we learn. Every program we have, every project we have, has an education component. One of the things that we've done over the years is learn an awful lot about how large organizations and large groups can have education efforts well integrated into their, all their projects. Just in case we don't have any viewers who know what STEM is, can you tell us what that stands for? Science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM education. The fundamental study of, of engineering, science, and mathematics that really was a focus of the country and the whole educational system all throughout the 60s and 70s, but it's sort of dropped off in the past two decades. And um, so, you know, the children are the people of tomorrow, so tell us what you think that children need for skills to be successful in their career fields in the future. Well, one of the things, that, obviously coming from NASA, that we strongly believe is that math, science, and engineering technologies, STEM education is very central and very necessary. But the reality is it's not just if you want to come and work for NASA, you need to be smart about math, but the reality is anything you want to create, everything that's been designed, any product that you go out and you buy today, whether it be something as simple as cookware or an automobile or a music player or something like that, there was an engineer, a designer behind that product who actually created it, who specced it out and figured out how to make it work. And that that person had, in all likelihood, a good, strong background in math, engineering, and technologies. If you have any interest in creating things and building new products and designing things that other people might want, you're going to want to have that sort of a background as part of your education. 
Well, thanks, Dave. We're really glad you could be here, and I'm sure the Autodesk education team is very happy to have you here at Autodesk University this year. Thanks. We're here in the Education Lounge with Paul Copioli of Vex Robotics. So, Paul, tell me about Vex Robotics and how it's being used in education. So, Vex Robotics is being used basically in two different arenas in education. One is in the traditional sense of in the classroom, but not being used in a traditional way. So we're doing a thing called project-based learning using the VEX Robotics design system as kind of the centerpiece to the students uh, as their project and learning throughout the day. And then we also are attacking it uh, on an education side outside the classroom. So uh, schools who aren't quite ready to implement STEM yet or implement robotics into the classroom can do it as extracurricular so the students can still get the learning experience that way. That's great. So at Autodesk University this year, we have the Vex Robotics Classroom Competition Kit. Can you tell us a little bit why about why Vex Robotics developed this competition kit, and what is the connection with Autodesk? Okay, so in short, the reason we did this, it's all about the magic. Okay, the magic of competition. Competition brings everybody to it. It's the hook. It's what everybody wants to do. We want to compete. Kids want to compete. Kids want to play with robots and compete. So we have this whole, there's all sorts of competitions out there, right? We have our own competition outside the classroom. But there's plenty of teachers and schools that want to just do it in the classroom. They don't really want to spend the time extracurricularly. But they don't have any way to compete. They have to build robots and have a project, but they don't really have a game to play. So what we did is we took the magic of competition, squished it down into a classroom size field that could be easily adapted to the classroom so the teacher can run a competition as part of the curriculum. So where Autodesk comes in is our classroom lab kit, which incorporates a co-developed Autodesk VEX curriculum designed around our platform, is used as part of the, of the VEX classroom competition. Wow, that's great. So VEX is really giving all students an opportunity, classroom or outside. So that's yes. great. So the big secret question, what is it about robotics that really inspires students? Okay, the bottom line is robots are cool. And anytime you walk by a robot that's moving around with someone driving it, I don't care how old you are, I don't care who you are, whether you're a biology person, an English teacher, an engineer, you will stop, you will look, and you will say, wow, that's pretty cool. And so it's the hook. Kids love robots. Robots are cool. Robots are fun. And so it gets them to stop and look. And that's, once they do that, it's done. They want to play with robots all the time. Well, thanks, Dave. We really were trying to figure out what that secret is. We're really <laughs> glad to have you and Vex Robotics here at Autodesk University this year. Thanks for having me.